Ayan, so paliparin na natin si Bumblebee, no? Magsimula tayo dito, malapit sa ginagawang MOA expansion, no, mga kababayan at ayan, pupunta natin halos 3 kilometers po yung layo niyan dito sa dalampasigan ng Manila Bay. Yan pong ginagawang uh, Horizon Manila yan po. Oh. Ang laki ng mga isla na yan at uh, uh, ang lit lang po sa malayo pero mga bay mamaya po paglapit natin makikita nyo napakalawak na ng tambak nito. Kaya sama lang kayo lipad tayo mga kababayan. Tara punta natin. Ayan na, malapit na tayo. At uh, ito na nga po, ang napakalaking tambak po dito. No? Napakalaking isla na umusbong sa Manila Bay. Nakakapanindig balahibo po itong proyekto nito. Ayan, no? Talaga namang dito po, tatayo ang uh, panibagong siyad o tinatawag na smart city dito mga kabayan na talaga namang uh, magiging world class itong uh, patsin na ito ng uh, Manila dito sa Manila Bay. At uh, ganyan po kalawa po. Gawin nyo na lang pong reference yung mga vehicles at uh, mga reclamation uh, machines dito. So, ekta-ektarya na po ito. Grabe mga kabuwan. Wala daw nangyayari Marami ang umangal at mga nagsasabi Wala daw pagbabago Wala daw nagbabago Sino ang niloko nyo? Baka kayo naloko Tignan nyo naman ating kapaligiran Sino ba ang nagbalita ng walang kabuluhan? Maluwag na ang daanan Hindi na ganun katrapik At sa LRT at MRT Di na magpapanik Di ka naaangal sa iyong mga daanan Di na madumi Di na mabaho ang lansangan Tapos sasabihin nyo na walang nagawa Pagbabago dito sa Pinas Hindi yan himala Kinilusan at inaksyonan ng ating Pangulo Binigyan leksyon ng mga matitigas na ulo Kaya kung sinong susunod sa kanyang yapak Gawing maayos ang lahat upang tuluyang umulan Sino ba ang merong nagawa? Sino ang wala? Tignan mo ang pagbabago lahat di yan himala Totoo ang nakikita, tinupad niya ang pangako Yung mga proyektong laki na ng pagbabago Kaya pasasalamat ang lagi mong banggitin Kung walang katulad niya, walang gantong tatanawin Ginawang maayos ang lahat para sa ating bayan upang maging maayos sa ating bayan sinilaman Iba't iba na talaga ang pagbabago Pero marami pa rin di naniniwalang tao Hindi daw kumikilos, walang nagagawa Sila yung mga tao, nangawalang nangawa Tignan nyo naman kasi ang pagbabago ng Maynila Ibang iba na yung dating tambakan ng basura Dinadagsana ng tao at pinupuntahan Ang Manila Bay, grabe na ang kapaligiran Malinaw na ang tubig na dating maitim Maliwanag na ang dating daan ng madilim Taas ang nag-usali at naggagandahan Sa pagbabago ng Pinas na di mo inasahan Buti may mga vlogger na sa ating nagbabalita Kung anong pagbabago at nagawa pinapakita Hindi sila bias, sila'y maaasahan Pinapakita ang 
ang ganda ng bayang sinilangan. The Horizon Manila, a 419-hectare reclamation project set to transform the capital of the Philippines into a world-class lifestyle destination. As this mega city is envisioned to be the new center of Mega Manila, the entire framework is expected to cost a whopping 109 billion pesos and would have exactly three man-made islands within its plan. Each of the reclaimed land is going to have that contemporary Manileño urban style within it and architecturally designed to have the social and cultural heritage of Filipinos while adapting a life that emphasizes self-sufficiency, climatic adaptations, and cultural resiliency. The proposed development is expected to tie the communities of Filipinos together through shared experiences in public spaces that give strong local activities in them. They are said to be the likes of ubiquitous streetball culture of Manila to religious plazas and many more that show the culture of the people living in Manila. One of the major factors that everyone should know about this scheme is that it will double the amount of available open spaces in Manila, as the capital city is known to be one of the densest places in the world. In fact, there would be over 83 hectares dedicated to wide green fields, a move that is said to help reduce the spatial stress that dense cities present. At the same time, these zones would have a pair of desalination plants and water collection, something that would provide over 2 million cubic square meters of fresh water, enough to cover the water supply of the people living in Horizon Manila for 150 days. Mobility is one another key factor of Horizon Manila. It is a city that would have a magnificent integrated transportation system, where trackless electric trams are seen, water taxis and ferries for individuals who love traveling by the sea. This type of transit scheme is expected to have everything reachable in only 10 to 20 minutes. And last, the main highlight of Horizon Manila is its 4-kilometer Central Canal Park. It is definitely something that would shine throughout the country, as this park is connected to each of the three islands that would be constructed, something that would give every single resident inside access to. It is also uniquely designed so that people would see Manila Bay's sunset. Such an enormous project would obviously cost a lot, but do note that once this is completed and running, it is going to generate over 400,000 jobs to the country, thus helping the unemployment rate and boost economic activity. And well, such a scheme is also going to create an impact to the environment and jobs that works on the seas of Manila Bay. But if all is well, then we do think that the economic impact of Horizon Manila should far outweigh the negatives of it. The exact date for Horizon Manila's construction is set to start in the second half of 2021, as it was only approved in 2019. Although this may still change, as this was approved way back before the pandemic hit. Anyway, what do you think about Horizon Manila? Is it going to change the way we see Manila? Share with us your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to leave us a like and follow us for more amazing videos. Thanks for watching.